Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for the first of two Resident Evil 4 Extras videos. Of course, last time was the finale. So, in the Extras, you have three additional modes you can do. Separate Ways is basically the storyline from Ada's perspective. It's five chapters long, you can buy stuff from the merchant, though you can't upgrade and you do a lot of saving and stuff. It is a pretty long uh, additional sort of thing. It might even add up to like 15 to 20 parts. So I'm not going to be doing it just because of how long it is. And what it does is it unlocks the Chicago Typewriter, which is another exclusive weapon that I'll be showing off. And it also unlocks Special Set 2 for costumes, which gives you Leon's sort of gangster outfit that gives him additional resistance to damage. But actually, more importantly, it gives you Ashley's Knight Armor, which makes her invincible. So, yeah, it's very well worth doing. It's not horribly difficult, but it does take a while, so that's why I'm not doing it. Assignment Ada is basically just a little mini-game where you play as Ada trying to collect, like, five uh, samples, and then you have to kill Krauser. I've never beaten that either because there's, like, no save points or anything. It's actually pretty tough. Because all it does, though, is it unlocks the Chicago Typewriter for purchase in separate ways, so it really doesn't do anything. However, I am going to show off the Mercenaries mode in this video. The Mercenaries is basically an additional little extra mode that you can do. And there are five different characters you can play as, but yeah, it's basically an additional little extra mode you can play where you have five potential characters you can play as in four different maps, and I'll get more into it in a minute, but you've got Leon, Ada, Krauser, Wesker, I believe that's Wesker, and then I can't remember who that is. Like, I believe that they're, I believe Krauser and Wesker are both characters, but I'm not exactly sure who all of them are. So you have four different stages you can play. Any of the four will do. Uh, I am going to go to the village, which is the one that I'm most used to. So your goal during this is to, first you have to survive for the entire time limit. Unlock a new secret with a five-star ranking. So yeah, pretty much when you started out, uh, what you have to do is you have to go in and survive for the full time. You can pick up additional time bonuses and stuff. And each character obviously has a sort of a different starting loadout. Oh, no, not gonna happen. I'm not really playing this for the purpose of getting a high ranking, because I am noticeably bad at the mercenaries, as you'll see. I suck at this game mode. I've never been good at it. 90 second extension. But yeah, I suck at this game mode, so don't expect my score to be even, like, remotely good. But what they were saying before is, once you have beaten every mercenaries mission with five stars as each of the five or with each of the five characters so basically you have to have 20 completely perfect runs that's what i was hoping for so you basically have to have 20 perfect runs in the game what's in here oh, okay cool basically infinite in respawn, so just keep that in mind. She uses the black tail, which you can see has a much higher rate of fire than the red nine. But then the level really starts to get tough the further in you get, and you'll see why. Uh, use that. Because now we're going to start getting attacked by the chainsaw guys. I'm just sort of trying to stay alive, though, because, like I said, I am terrible at this game mode, and I have just never really been good at it in any of the games. Whoa, she's got an upgraded rifle. You can tell because it's firing way faster. Cool. So now you gotta... This first map, the only really tough part are those uh, chainsawers. But it is sort of a cool mode to play, just something different from the main game, which is kind of nice. Uh, okay, you're not going to kill me like that, that's for sure. But yeah, your goal is basically to survive for the entire time with as many points as possible. And 
if you manage to beat it with a five-star ranking, then I believe that's what unlocks the next character. Once you beat it like a five-star with Leon, you unlock Ada, and then five stars with Ada unlocks Krauser and so on. Right now, I'm just trying to stay alive, though. I don't really care too much about this, because like I said, I'm not really... Oh, crap, she doesn't have a stock on this thing, either. The chainsaw was pretty much instant death, so don't get hit by it, is all I can really say. Jeez, Ada, you've got a slow freaking reload, though. Not gonna happen. So yeah, I mean, I'm not good at it, but hey, it is sort of a fun, cool little extra thing to play. Uh, yeah, once you have beaten all five, or all four missions with five stars with each of the four or five characters, then you do unlock something special. That special is an exclusive weapon called the Hand Cannon. It's the only exclusive weapon that I've never gotten. And I know that it's really, really good. I'll talk about it more in the second extra video, though. Oh, man, there's a timer behind there. But I'll pick that up in a second. Ah, uh, this is very reminiscent of the first video. Ooh, a hand grenade. That's actually pretty helpful. The chopper's getting close, Ada. The chopper is getting close. Ah, uh, that's actually quite dangerous. Let's just toss this out. Super kill. Seven in a row. Heck yes. That was actually a pretty good run. I'm going to admit that. That was actually a pretty good run for me. Well, provided I don't die in the last ten seconds. Okay, Ada. Oh, crap. You've got to be freaking kidding me. If I die, I'm going to be really pissed off. Okay, we made it. Mission ends. I survived. That's what matters. That's going to be worth, like, two stars. Yep, two stars. I shouldn't be surprised. Leon's high score is 35,000, and that was five stars, I believe. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not very good at this mode, but it is just sort of a cool little thing to have in the game. But, like I said, that's the only extra mode I'm actually going to show off, and like I said, it also unlocks the hand cannon if you get all five stars on, like, every mission with every character. So guys, that was the first Extras video. Our second Extras video will be showing off all of the extra weapons in the game, the exclusive weapons. So, I'll see you guys next time.